Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Dank Web Browsing number 19, or Dark Web Browsing, or Deep Web Browsing. Hey, I just think of an excuse to sit over here and uh, browse some internet and see what dank stuff I can find, and seems like people really enjoy it. And that being said, we are going to look into some Deep Web stuff. Uh, again, I hope I find some, you know, kind of dark stuff here, but I hope I find some really interesting stuff, interesting in general, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I guess I can really give. I mean, I don't want to keep you in the intro for too long. One thing, by the way, too, I am using Linux, by the way. Um, I know the screen's obviously blurred in the intro, but as we progress through forward, you'll see in the fonts later. I should have actually told you this in the beginning of the, you know, series or whatever, to maybe use Linux instead of Windows or uh, OS X. Well, you can use OS X generally. It is a Unix-based OS. But the reason why I should have told you about Linux, too, is because it does really offer a whole lot of security. And I'm not using Tails OS like a lot of people have told you. I used it myself at one point. I'm actually just using Ubuntu with Tor installed and some minor security patches. But that being said, let us go to our very first website. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Let's see what we got on our first hit on the dank web. So, we're back onto the Intel Exchange, and I'm here to actually help you guys learn something over here, uh, before, um, I'm actually here to help you guys get onto the Intel Exchange. Now, we went onto the site numerous times, um, but one quick way to actually get onto it is to actually hit the sign up. Now, once you sign up, I need to let you know that it does not allow you to post on any of these forums. In fact, what you have to do is you have to go to the unverified user section right over here, and if you give it like time to load up, basically over here, you have to post something that people on the Intel Exchange community actually find uh, worth in. So maybe a government secret or something to do with Matt. Oh, my God. Read before posting. Holy shit. But uh, over here, you have like a bunch of people posting about a lot of stuff over here. These are unverified users they are trying to get on. So they post here with some leet information. And hopefully that kicks in and people over here allow them to join into the uh video uh, not the video but the actual um the website itself so over here you have people talking about bitcoin mining uh technology in vienna uh verification request to <laughs> this guy's a sequel and the worst deep web website the black box and numerous other things uh and that's about it in fact somebody here has uh, something about the uh u.s government and something on hypnosis files that's actually really interesting so see you do find something interesting out of here there's people that genuinely post like, really, really cool stuff. I'm looking for information about... Oh, it's not actually posting about hypnosis. But somebody who linked them to a Wikipedia page... Uh, w Wikipedia page. Well, I cannot speak today, can I? A Wikipedia page called Scope, uh, Scopolamine. Whatever that is. It's apparently a powder, and it can make people do some stuff. You can't just blow it into somebody's face and they turn into a zombie. That's interesting. I uh, might have to look into that to see if it's something here. What is this? Does anyone know any good ways to, well, fight back against the government? Because it is corrupt. Also, what I find odd is that my family even admitted it. But then they just said, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, really? I know that I want to change this. I want my freedom. I want respect. And I won't take no for an answer. I don't care what I'll need to do. I'll do it if it's reasonable. However, I also need to know what I'll need. So far, I have... Dual blades? The fuck? He's got a katana collection, man? I think we need to have the fuck. It's new. Uh, a laptop with Windows 10. Might need to downgrade that, buddy. And a cell phone. Got one, too. I want any links to the government or its agencies that you may have, and I want to know what would be useful. Uh, and then he has, like, a whole bunch of things about fucking government and all that shit uh, it's just as detrimental to have an ideology that you don't completely understand either uh deleted <laughs> see sometimes you come over here that's really fucking weird and you know it's just full of like fucking shit it's just people trying to act all edgy and stuff and the most you can do is just laugh it off and walk away <laughs> all right so this apparently is a shadow web gateway it says you've reached the hidden gateway to the shadow web to get the browser bundle, oh, here we go, required to access the shadow web, send 0 0.3 Bitcoin to 1808 ITL, uh, some Bitcoin, and Manning, uh, some Bitcoin uh, wallet address. Once the payment is made, send us an email at shadowweb at sigaint.org to get a download link with access instructions to shadow web host the content too dark for the deep web. Uh, apparently, it gives us a link here. Let me click on that. I don't, uh, fuck, I have, like, my whole fucking link blown up, too. Oh, it's a YouTube video. Okay. 
All right, it's a warning to it's somebody's video. Um, first of all, allow me to give some people a little bit of a technical primer here. This is a fucking scam, okay? This is somebody who made a website on the deep web, and they're trying to get money out of people. This is a fucking scam. The reason why it's a scam is because all of these links are already available via Tor. Uh, if they're not, you're going to use things like I2P, which then you got EAP sites. And uh, then there's other packages such as Cyborg or whatever, but those are different uh, free net nodes. This is complete bullshit. It's going to give you a browser, sure, but that browser could be fitted with software that is exactly what the Tor browser is already, but then it might give them your location, it might give them a lot of stuff, so not only are you getting scammed out of, uh, out of money, a decent chunk of money, uh, I don't know how much one, uh, Bitcoin is right now, but you know, whatever, like, if it's, what, 30, 40 bucks, still a decent chunk of chance, a fucking video game, you could, two video games you could buy, and, uh, you're also giving your location away, and, or other personal information, do not fall for this stuff if you browse the deep web, it is completely fucking scam worthy, and people like this should be fucking blown out, and, uh, yeah, don't, 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 don't fall for this crap, okay? It's not even an FBI honeypot, it's just somebody trying to scam the fuck out of you. You can tell by the really edgy-looking JPEG. But, uh, that being said, let's go to a different website, because this is a fucking scam, man! Alright, so this is, uh, ZekSec. Alright, this is, uh, this is, so you've heard of LulzSec, you've heard of, um... You've heard of the Lizard Squad, all right? You know, the hardcore people. But this is a group called ZekSec. And their site says, you're probably wondering why and what we do. Well, to say it straight, we love to fuck with people. It's fun. What do we do exactly? Hijacking shit and pissing people off is what's the most fun to us. This is where we'll update you guys with some kecks. Stay tuned. Donations go here. 9-3-15-1933, we have a Twitter. Get ready, kecks to come. All right, so they have picked a... Okay, so they have a list of proxies, DP reflectors. We haven't filtered them. The output on a one gigabyte server, we expect to hit around 30. So, ooh, that's... Uh, if they're not bluffing, that's actually pretty decent. So let me see uh, page source, just to see if they have anything hidden over here. They also have a Twitter, by the way. Yeah, we know that. Uh, let me see. They, they said they have a target picked, but I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll have to check their twatter. For maybe something. I feel like this is just some edgy kids trying to be cool. You know, script kitties and stuff. But then again, I don't fuck with any hacker, by the way. I'm just saying that right now. If you're a hacker, you know, whatever. It's uh, it's all cool. <laughs> yeah, no no harm done. But I guess, you know, whatever. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, they're trying to get kind of cool and stuff. But let's see what their Twitter is. They got about 42 epic followers over here. Uh, 10, 13, 25. What the fuck is this? Uh, what the fuck is a Keemster? What? What is all this shit? Dude, this is a fucking script, kitty. Lulsec wannabes, LMFAO, updating, Zex... Oh, that's their fucking onion site. Fun stuff coming in a bit. Stick around. Uh, nice stream, dude. Shamey. Oh, what the fuck? These guys are DDoSers, man! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, they are fucking script kitties. They're DDoSers. They're running LOIC on people. That's what they are. Whatever, dude. They're DDoSers. Well, you know, DDoSing, whatever, I guess. It's it's fucking hacking, right? You know, so I guess, I guess they got their kecks. It's a real group, it turns out. They're, they're uh, Twitch DDoSers, that's nice. So, you ever wonder when you're watching a Twitch stream why, like, the fucking thing goes down and there's a DDoS? That, 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 it's these people. But, uh, yeah, they got some kecks. Uh, 9, 16, 15, we've already had some kecks. Uh, I guess that was the target there, and uh, I think they did get it. I don't know if they did or not, or maybe it's just I'm tweeting, but um, yeah, that's ZekSec. All right, so this is a hacker that goes by the name of Cyborg. I think that's the theme for this uh, week's episode is computer hacking. This is Cyborg. It's uh, it's basically a hello. This is a pretty nice-looking website, actually, considering the amount of HTML uh, you know, stuff we see on this uh, deep web stuff anyways. But uh, what I do, I am a professional hacker for hire. If you need a website, company, or person hacked, I'm able to do this within a certain time limit. I have over 10 years' experience in programming, and I am willing to do anything you need. Well, that's nice. Who I am? I go by many names on the clear net for obvious reasons. My identity and yours will remain anonymous at all times. And that's about it. Um, I can send him an email. Uh, fuck no, I'm not giving him anything, actually. Any kind of ID. <laughs>
because I don't know who this fucker is. Um, but it seems kind of fake to me. Like, there's not a whole lot of information given. I don't know if I should trust Cyborg at all. But, uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's Cyborg. It's apparently a computer hacker. And a professional one of that. Ten years experience. Pretty nice. Now, I, I swear I'm not trying to find these on purpose or whatever. But this is, this is Mad Cat. Uh, hacking services over the darknet since 2013, actually. Um, uh, let me just, let me just, I opened all these up so that we don't have to fucking wait forever, by the way. There's actually a form that I didn't open up too, which I'll keep that open. But apparently to contact Mad Cat, you'll have to use his Sigaint address. Um, and apparently, uh, let me just see about him, by the way. So, this is Mad Cat. This is a computer hacker. Hello, everybody. Here is Mad Cat, a self-taught hacker and web developer. I started to approach two computer skills when I was young, and I was already well introduced to high-level computing when I was 14 years old. For many years, I worked with video surveillance and security systems. Working with alarms and surveillance systems implies a particular knowledge of remote control techniques and distance communication between computer and server. That's true. If you understand the mechanism, and if you have the right tools, you can use it as powerful hacking instruments. In all this time, I continued to deepen my competences about script codes and security holes, just testing almost everything possible and trying to be informed. In the last years, I have been in activity elsewhere on the deep web with different names. I was active on Darknet Social Works until they were active. I like to try to answer people's questions. I like comparisons, blah, 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 face new challenges. Um, here he has, like, his old, like, performances, right? So, a memorial of some good jobs. In 2013, he got full access to various computers through the use of Trojan viruses, cracked successfully some email passwords with brute force technique, dosing many websites and blogs during the years. All right. 2014, he broke into a student account of the University of Sheffield, shut her down for some days, oh, shut it, shut down for some days a Spanish newspaper website, La Opinion, uh, shut, shut it, shut down some European political party websites for several days. Always try to hunt shitty pedo bears. That's pretty nice. Two IPs revealed in 2014. Strong DOS against the website of the University of Venice. Uh, in 2015, building a new excellent way of phishing. PHP script codes for fake Facebook logins and other mini socials. Um, these are all actual hacking jobs. Um, none of them are typically... I don't want to sound like a fucking elitist or something, but, you know, they're they're decent jobs. A lot of them seem kind of script kiddie-ish to me. But you know what? Um, the guy obviously knows his shit, uh, or at least, what that, at least that's being portrayed. Um, you can contact the guy. Apparently, if you look at his offers, what kind of service? I have a large amount of competences that can help you in situations. Uh, what are your highlights? So he can get remote access to a computer, give you full access to the computer of the victim, try to force a password... Um, DOS denial of service attack to a website until it is totally shut down. Can you teach me some tricks? You know what? This guy seems like, like, of course he's a pretty malicious hacker, but you know, he seems good in nature. It's kind of weird, you know, when you look at the moral compass that way, but you know what? The guy is a hacker, Mad Cat. Um, every time I think of his name, I think of the controllers for like the Xboxes and stuff, but that is Mad Cat and, uh, he appears to know his shit and, uh, you know. Fucking hackers on the deep web, man. They just leave their fucking mark. It's like graffiti and all that shit. Gang signs throwing up, man. Hit squads and all that shit. Fuck. Oh, here's something good, lads. Um, apparently one of these hacking groups actually supports a big fight and they're leaking information out. Um, remember that whole, like, hacking group that I told you about and I showed you when we were, um... On one of the deep, web, I think it was the last one, two two episodes ago, uh, how An anonymous was fighting the hackers, right? Well, this is a hacker group that actually leaks information out on a lot of uh, pedophiles that they find on the dark web or even on the clear web or whatever, and they actually leak them out completely over here. So these are people that are out there to leak them out. This is just in the UK, though. Of course, you can tell by the spelling of pedophile or pedophile. It's it's in the UK. And uh, they're actually profiling them and reporting them out. And you know what? I give a big hand to that. And you know what? I, I always say that the deep web is a gray area, right? I mean, there's good stuff on here. There's bad stuff. We've seen bad stuff. We've seen weird stuff. But the good stuff is, is sick individuals like this are being stopped from harming little children. And you know what? If the deep web brings one person to justice, 
it's a very valuable thing in our lives indeed. You know, for every drug that's sold, there's also a pedophile that is stopped from harming a child. And that being said, I'm not going to be, you know, you know, too fucking cheesy over here. But congratulations. You know, one thing that I have to showcase is not everything is bad. There are very good things, and you can have a smile at the end of the day considering that this kind of stuff actually happens. There's a whole database building on these sickos. And I gotta give hacker groups props for that. Good job, guys. Good job. GG. Okay, this is, uh... This is really fucking weird. This is the Church of Euthanasia. Uh, it's... Wow, what the fuck? The One Commandment, Thou Shall Not Procreate. The Four Pillars, Suicide, Abortion, Cannibalism, so, oh my god. Save the planet, kill yourself is what they write. And they have a little counter, obviously, with the, the human population increasing really, really fast. I'm pretty sure it increases faster than that. I like to watch the plane... Co oh my god. This is a website on the deep web that talks about killing yourself to save the planet. Kind of an extreme way. I know overpopulation is a problem, but holy fuck, this is dark as fuck. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to censor this shit. What is this? Did sperm wind up? Call up? Call Wait, they have a number? Oh, that's a load of shit right here. Wait a second. Let me call these motherfuckers. In the United States, women and men age 17 and older can purchase emergency contraception at most pharmacies. No prescription is needed. Just ask for it at the pharmacy Well, counter. it seems like this was just you. your average, um... Seems like this was just, uh, your, your average fucking... God damn it. That was just a US, like, hotline for this kind of shit. But let me look inside the website and see how fucking deep the rabbit hole goes. Uh, this video contains adult material. I am not going to watch this video because I'm probably going to have to fucking say it's probably going to be fucking disgusting. Oh my god. I like to watch, what is this, Cannibal Whore Feast Remix. Um, Alright, turns out I can't actually download the video for some reason. If I ever get, like, access to it, I'll show it to you. I tried, like, every link, the 36k one, which I knew was going to be fucking pointless because it's so low quality. But I tried all of these, and apparently I can't seem to download. For, uh, maybe an, off, an issue in my OS, but in some ways I guess it's good that I can't watch it. But that is a video that is going to link you to adult material. If I go to the minor section, um, where is this going to... Oh, it takes you to fucking Disney, by the way. What the fuck? This is messed up, dude. They have, like, e-sermons? Let me see this shit. E-sermon number one? Anti-humanism. Greetings and welcome to the Church of Euthanasia. Hopefully almost all of you have received issue number one of our journal by now. I am sure that many questions still remain, and I'll try to address the most popular ones, which are how and why. How did we find you? A detailed explanation would not be appropriate here, but suffice to say that all of you have posted to one or more of the same news groups over the last month or so. These news groups were carefully chosen for their degree of intersection with the core principles of the church. What the fuck? We knew that we would, uh, we, many would react negatively to our methods, well, obviously, but felt this was outweighed by the need to make a widespread immediate impact. Why do we do this? As many of you are no doubt aware, the Population Summit concluded this week in Cairo. If you have been following it in the papers, you will know that almost nothing of any substance was accomplished. Most of the conference is devoted to an acrimonious battle with the new Vatican Muslim Alliance over whether the various charters that have... What the fuck is all this? Hold on, let me go down over here. The planet is a living being, and quite capable of self-defense. If the two, Yeah, I know, because last fucking, you know, we, New York was talking and Los Angeles was fucking talking and Arizona was talking too. Sorry, Phoenix, rather. If the two-legged creature, if the two-legged cannot control their numbers, she will do it for them and her measures will be harsh. Read the Hopi prophecies. Okay. Many of them have already come true. Now is the time of Koyanis Katsi, or life out of balance. The internet is the backbone of the so-called cyber culture, an impossible vision of the future in which men rule in the earth on the earth through machines. It is for this reason. Hold on, let me just. Uh, oh, let me actually just fix a couple things just so I can see that. Uh, we'll rule the earth through the machines. It is for this reason, most of all, that we felt it so important to target the internet. Messages were delivered to the White House, no, to heads of corporations, to high-ranking members of the military, to scientists, professors, and just yeah, I'm pretty sure none of them fucking responded because this is psychotic. Uh, so this is their, um, 
This is their, uh, I guess you could say, mantra or prayer. Only after the last tree has been cut down, only after the last river has been poisoned, only after the last fish has been caught, only then will you realize that money cannot be eaten. Let us pray. Spirits of the four directions, south, east, west, and north, power of the elements, wheel of the seasons, be here now as we invoke the sacred space, and for a moment in time free ourselves of all limitations from all delusions of separateness. Be here now and help us to draw our spirits down from the lonely flights of the ego into our body. Oh, you guys are fucking full of yourselves, man. Beyond the bounds of time where night and day, birth and death, joy and sorrow meet as one. May our colon smell nice and clean as we sniff them far too much. That is the mantra these people live with. Um, it's fucking psychotic. And what is this? Snuff it? Oh, it's a fucking issue? The state of shit? Oh my god, what is this, man? Hold on, let me see this. Save the planet, kill yourself. This is not an actual fucking picture, dude. This is, this is not an actual fucking picture you're fucking with me, dude. No. No. What is this? Ask Chrissy? Who the fuck's Chrissy? Dear Chrissy, I want to get off this crappy planet as soon as possible. I tried to... What the fuck? Oh my god. She's literally giving fucking instructions on how to do this. What a bitch. Honest to god. What a f These people are fucking psychos. Swear to God, this is a psychotic fucking website. This isn't even a fucking joke. This is this is fucking this is weird as shit. Holy fuck! I don't I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for fucking words. I think I'm gonna go to the next fucking. Oh my God! This is this is fucked up. This is really really fucked up. The Church of Euthanasia is a real fucking thing. And at the time we did this video, about a thousand people were born. So congrats, I guess, to those lovely parents. All right, so this is the video time. Uh, if I ever find a video, then I always do show it to you guys on an episode of the Deep Web Browsing, and this is a video that I have found. Obviously, again, names are changed. It's about a minute and 47 seconds long, so it's a far cry shorter than the last week's video, but hopefully it's as edgy as we expect. Uh, I'm just going to set the volume to an appropriate level, and we're going to hit play and see what we got to offer. So it's got Japanese. Oh, wow, it's really fucking low quality. All right, what the fuck are we looking at today, ladies and gentlemen? That's not flickering, that's an- Oh, what the fuck? Is that an A Lamal? Oh, that's fucking weird, it's like, so what the fuck? That's a really fucking weird looking dude. Oh, please don't be a fucking screamer, dude. So far we haven't- Oh. Really fucking edgy, don't you think? The fuck is this thing, dude? It's like butterflies in this fucking web thing. Oh, that's fucking weird, dude. Okay. What the fuck? Well, that was quite something. Um, here, let me just let me just stop this right over here. That was definitely something. Um, I feel like the deep web has some creepy videos, like that. You know, the fucking the chick that was you know fucking telling us to get help, and then it has people trying to be all edgy and hard house and stuff, and making videos like this because you know what. It seems like a film student's artsy project that's scaring people or horror or something. I've I've seen bits and pieces of this kind of stuff before. Not this video, perhaps, but 
with this kind of uh this kind of stuff I've seen. And you know what? I feel like people put their stuff on the deep web just to, you know, come across as edgy. This was a little too edgy. Um yeah, it had some weird imagery like that fucking door opening. Um and it had the uh the, wait, let me see where's the door opening actually. I want to see that again. I think it's right after this. Yeah, that the the eyes are actually really fucking weird by the way, too. Uh, this one was kind of weird. It's like something you'd see out of LSD Dream Emulator. Uh, but other than that, you know, it really wasn't that fucking weird. This one looked like, this one kind of made me feel like I was watching a Mazda commercial for some reason. And, uh, this is about, by far, probably the most edgiest thing, something on fire. Um, other than that, it really isn't fucking scary. It's, uh, you know, it's, it, I guess it's trying to be too edgy. And I guess by putting it on the deep web, it doesn't make it edgy as much as it makes it a giant fucking cliche. Um, do I find it scary? Uh, no. Uh, this thing's kind of weird, this, this little thing. I don't even know what the fuck, it looks like something out of, like, Diablo if it was, like, you know, really, really, really fucking edgy. Uh, this, I don't know, but I can make out it says, we highly suggest that you take proper, I think, precaution or something. Uh, and I think it says the word following, so, you know, I, I think, I think it's, it's just a disclaimer or whatever. I don't know what it says at the end, because that's a little too low resolution, but it seems like a quote or something with, like, ellipses. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I don't know what to make of this other than it's trying to be way too edgy. But if somebody else wants to take a crack at it, let me know. Uh, what do you think of the video? Tell me in the comments below. Well, that was our uh, deep web video. Was it a little too edgy for our tastes? Eh, I think so. Um, other than that, well, I can't really say much else to it. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's definitely uh, it's definitely interesting. You know, is it as creepy as the stuff we've seen? Uh, the stuff, no. But um. Is it is it trying to be edgy? Yeah. Is it is it too edgy? Yeah, definitely. But uh, back to the websites. Hopefully, maybe there's something that'll make up for the uh, the overabundance of edge in this. Oh man, dude! You guys remember that Ashley Madison leak that happened a while ago? Uh, basically, what happened was uh, Ashley Madison user data got leaked. First of all, what Ashley Madison is is basically a dating service for married and. Uh, uh, married individuals or individuals who are in a relationship to cheat on their, you know, significant other. So what happened was a bunch of hackers actually leaked out the data, which means anybody who was using the service got caught and, well, <laughs> their information is fucking leaked. So if you look it up and their name's in there, they were fucking cheating. Uh, this is a uh, Ashley Madison, this is like the counter thing that's running by people who were actually fucking showcased. So like 39.6 million people or exposed, all right? And so if you, you can actually donate to this Bitcoin address to basically start a disinformation campaign so that these people will still stay anonymized in some way or whatever. Um, it's bullshit. Once it's out there, it's out there. I'm sorry, you can't just erase stuff off the internet like that. Um, but yeah, no, this is a real thing, apparently. <laughs> Um, it's a bunch of butthurt people that got caught doing something bad, and, uh, they're trying to fucking get money to get, get a campaign against it. I don't know how the fuck that's gonna work, but, uh, yeah, I figured it was worth a mention over here. It's, uh, it's a nice little <laughs> contrast to what happened, really. You can request an invitation, actually. I want to see what the, uh, invitation is out over here, too. Please enter your Ashley Madison username and profile number. Your token will be sent to the email address to use on your Ashley Madison profile. Um, I don't know if you're giving them, like, passwords or whatever. I've never used the service, so... But it's, like, secret shit or main secret, so I guess it's, like, a community you can add over here. <laughs> so fucking stupid, I swear. They're just trying to get money out of people. That's all that is, man. Oh my god, it seems like last week's nuclear destruction theories were not exactly over. Apparently, Miami is also under threat. Nuclear destruction prophecies are real! If you look at it right over here, let's see. Oh my fucking god, even Miami fucking talks, dude. Flee the city, city of- Oh my god, it's saying the exact fucking same thing as fucking New York and Los Angeles. Fuck this shit. Apparently, let's see the people by the quote. So Miami-Dade County says something. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, for, downtown Fort Lauderdale. An amount of- Oh, they'll be reduced. The amount of wealthy people in Miami- Someday these will be gone, downtown hotel. Oh, wait a minute. It's not fucking Miami talking. It's actually, like, quotes, and they're applying it to, like, you know, fucking parts of Miami. Okay. Let me nuke him. I can't use him. They're paying... Oh, my God, dude. The anti-Semitism here. Jesus. What is this shit? 
I want to blast this place suddenly. Few will survive Miami. And apparently this is a photo of Miami getting fucking nuked. That is like the fakest mushroom cloud I have ever fucking seen. I swear to God, it's like they fucking edited that shit out of somewhere. Uh, apparently there's a lot of things happening over here. Uh, warn my people of their nuclear destruction, says Jesus. I don't know if Jesus really talked about nuclear destruction, because I'm pretty sure back in his time, nukes didn't exist. I mean, if he's talking about something else, and you guys are just applying it to nuclear bombs, sure, but don't say Jesus said it. That's like fucking, it's a lie. All right? And if, if they're all so godly here. I mean, Jesus, dude. It's like, you know, the thing is, it's like, it's it's it, it makes religious people look bad, too, because it's like, you know, they're just people that, like, you know, worship God and stuff. And fair is fair, you know, whatever. It's their thing. But these people make them look like fucking lunatics, and that ain't right, dude. These people are just fucking psychotic. What is this? I began to look around the yard, seeing if there were any cover or drainage, just that I could jump into a I resolved to just stand there and praise my God until the blast it. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Wait, here's a prophetic warning. Sorry. Given through Tiffany de Villiers, de Villiers, or whatever the fuck it is. I have felt led all week. I... Okay, to share some dreams and a word the Lord gave me nearly 20 years ago. Two decades ago, this chick got a fucking dream. I'd like to share them now. I've never felt released to to release these dreams, visions, and this word until now. I sense strongly that you what you are about to read is soon coming to pass. Mississippi, 1988. During this time, I was living in, living in Bay, Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. There's a bridge that crosses the Bay of St. Louis. The bay drains out into the Gulf of Mexico. In this particular dream, I was driving across a bridge. What is this, fucking Colonel Campbell or whatever? Like the Colonel from MGS2? I had a dream. People were in the streets partying. I heard the words, as in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And then I was standing in the middle of the bridge, looking out over the Gulf of Mexico, in the direction of Florida. I was watching the sky with a sense of expectancy. The sky grew dark. A thick cloud had covered the region, and darkness had ta overtaken the earth. Suddenly, I saw an orange-red mushroom cloud rise from the direction of Florida, and this cloud began to spread outward. People began to panic. 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 I can't fucking speak today. Chaos was all around. Those who had once been partying were now fleeing for their lives, some becoming suicidal, driving their cars into the waters. Those without cars were jumping off the bridge, though they were not in immediate danger. Boca Raton, Florida. During this time, I was actually living in uh, Delray Beach, Florida. In a dream, I heard an announcement as over a loudspeaker. We were under a nuclear watch. Dude, you know what? I feel like this is just fan fiction. 18th month pregnancy? Dude, you gotta get that shit checked, man. That is... That is way too fucking long, dude. That is a that is a pretty late delivery there. Um, I think this is just, like, religious fan fiction about a nuclear attack. I don't think this is as much as theories, because it's just a bunch of dreams and shit here, dude. That's the whole thing. It's like, New York has it, Phoenix has it, like, fucking... Now, now we got Miami, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, there's, oh, that's a cute little kid. Uh, what is this? Mom's water broke at 3.15. First seven hour begins. Oh, boy. Look, this is like Illuminati level conspiracy. Let's look at this really carefully. Mom began pushing at 10.15. Second seven hour begins. Joshua was born. Second seven hours. Mom had 14 hours of travail. Seven. Two, two divided by 14 is seven. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Okay, that's backwards. 76 weeks and 3 days with child. 7 plus 6 plus 3 equals 16. 1 plus 6 equals... Oh my fucking god, this is so Illuminati conspiracy! 777, Church of God, Tabernacle of God. Mom was with Joshua from January 8, 2004 to July 17th. 77? Seven, seven. Huh? 365, 31, 28, 31, 30, 31, 39. What is that half? 555 five, five days with the child. 5 is the number of grace. 5 fives is the number of grace multiplied by grace. 555, five, five, which is a gematria for something. 555, five, five, God is Greek. The Holy Acts 314, Lord of Hosts. Joshua David Miller, 17 letters. Born in the seventh month. Born on the 17th day. Born in 2005. 2 plus 5 is 7. Born at 520. It's 5 plus 2 is another 7. Weight 6 pounds, 8 ounces, 6 plus 8 is 14, 2 divided by 14, apparently a 7, uh, measure 21 inches long, 3 divided by 21, apparently a 7, when it's fucking backwards, you shouldn't be doing that, Joshua David Miller, 706 in Gematria, 7 divided by 706 is 100.6, 1 plus 6 is 7, Illuminati is confirmed, this is the end of the world, Miami is getting nuked, holy shit, this was a thing. 
fucking serious, man? This cannot be real. These motherfuckers, these, these guys. And the thing is, there's some people that'll believe them. Holy shit, man. That is fucked. Why? Why is this a thing? The sword is coming to Atlanta. Now, this apparently isn't a nuclear bomb. Apparently. Wait, you know what? I'm just going to fucking control F. Nuclear. Apparently, it's found three matches on nuclears. Cat catastrophe. It is, it is God mentioned anywhere in this. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Godly. Talking God, dude. The dream prophecy has been on our sites for months. What is this? A website? Oh, hold on. Let me check that out. Chaos and woe. Shabbat shalom. May Yahweh truly bless you with the Shabbat. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Hold on. Let me start from the fucking beginning over here, okay? I, I skipped a whole lot of this. That was not right of me. I need to give this a fair read. Note from Dave, I received two dreams from people, one lives south of Atlanta and one northeast, in which they were receiving refugees. Let me check their site real quick. Unleavened Bread Ministries, meaning these are America's last days. This is Messianic Pastor Caleb Kinley. Prophecies, Dreams, and Visions. Apparently his site seems to be down. What is this? Gifts to support them? Gifts to support? Wait a minute. Free books, television, prison, gifts. Apparently the site seems to be down for the most part, it seems, I think. I think, yep, yeah, it seems pretty down as it is. So, alright. Apparently this is the site that this is coming from. Ron and I lived in a very large house, but there was still a normal number of bedrooms. We had invited a number of friends and family to come spend the weekend with us. The bedrooms filled up quickly, and then a late arrival. A couple who brought 60 more with them made an answer for me to arrange them. Maybe Ron and April of us had a fucking... Okay. These are just, like, dreams and shit, man. I swear, I could tell them I had a dream that a fucking... That the Smurfs grew, like, 300 fucking feet tall and ran all over Phoenix and Arizona and fucking Atlanta and shit. What is this? The World Trade Center? Such a huge, gigantic angel standing over the U.S. of A. Uh, do not believe any of the false prophets who preached to you after 9-11 saying that it was not a judgment. What the fuck? Are you guys serious, man? I saw the flag of America. You know, I've never seen people like the Americans who love their nation so much. Who are so patriotic. Well, that's good. What the hell is all this? Is, it's like a mix. It's It's interesting. Because we're all over the place here. It's a mix between some Illuminati shit, God, nukes, a sword, and Atlanta. I don't even know where it's going. What the fuck, man? What it says, Muslim countries, they would allow you to openly, they consider, oh my god, shots are being fired, dude. This is like some religious warfare, man. I gotta get out of this fucking section before fucking... Gotta get out of this place, man, before fucking shit hits the fan, dude. I'm gonna fucking... I'm just gonna back away before this comment section turns into a religious war zone. And uh, that that's it. I'm not gonna fucking do anything else. I'm just gonna back out. Pretend I never saw this shit. This is stupid as fuck. Nuclear prophecies. Um, <laughs> So fucking stupid. It really is. It's just... God. So before we actually end the video, uh, I do want to kind of plug something from my end. Uh, this is Edward Snowden's Twitter. This is the man who leaked the PRISM project from the NSA, uh, DIA, and everything out to the public. This is a man who does fight for freedom and uh, open, transparent communication between your government and you. And I figured... Uh, because I really do kind of respect what he did, you know, watching out for people, you know, that obviously, you know, may not be able to look out for themselves as much. This is an individual that I, you know, do, 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 do kind of look up to. Um, I don't ever want to do any of the actions he committed, but, um, if you all ever want to, if you find this stuff kind of interesting, I definitely recommend you guys follow him. That being said, this was another deep web browsing episode. We, we saw a fuck ton of things. We saw hackers, we saw the fucking conspiracy theories again we saw a whole bunch of stuff um that being said uh 
tell me what you found the best part of this uh, Deep Web episode, uh, what you want to see next time. Um, let me know what I can do to make the series better. I actually did upload this video in 60 frames per second. I figured, I don't know, some people might like a spoon stuff. Uh, if that's not your thing, let me know. Whatever you want to change to the series, whatever you want to add to it, what you think is a good addition, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely be happy to oblige. This is, you know, pretty much kind of your channel. You can decide what kind of stuff you want. You are the viewer, you are the audience. Um, that being said, this is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have this really big itch in my nose. I am so sorry. But uh, that being said, this has been another deep web browsing episode. I am out.